Mi ha giuro, pe! C'è che tomma! How you doing guys? Big Mac Dance School here again today, back once again with another episode of Warhammer 40k. Today I'm going to be answering a question that's quite common in Q&As of big YouTubers. Um, well, big wargaming YouTubers anyway. The question is, how do you paint your army quickly? Or how do you get your army painted quickly? Now there's no perfect way of doing this. Typically speaking, if you want it painting quickly, you've got to sacrifice on quality. And that's what I'll be doing today. Um, I've got a simple way of painting orc skin that I'm going to show you in this video. Um, but, you know, there's, there's techniques in general that you can use, like dry brushing instead of edge highlighting every single thing, using glazes and washes as I do in this video, rather than um, trying to layer paints one over the other and using pre-shading and techniques like that to help you along the way. So without further ado, here is my quick orc skin painting technique. Enjoy! Before we get started, I want to tell you how I prepared the miniature. I used zenithal highlighting, which involves spraying the miniature firstly with one colour, typically a darker colour, um, from all over. And then from around a 45 degree angle, you take a lighter colour, you can do it with an airbrush or a spray can, but I used spray cans, take a lighter colour and you spray down all over, and what that does, it creates an effect of a light source coming from above, so the sun or indoor lighting. Um, so all the top areas, the shoulders, the top of the head, they're all in light, and all the underside areas, so underneath the arms of the miniature, they all become darkened. So, on this orc boy you see in front of you, that is the end result of zenithal highlighting. Now, moving on, um, we want to get some colour onto this miniature, onto the skin, so what I'm going to be using is Bealtan Green Shade, followed by a glaze of Waywatcher Green. Um, so to start, give your paint a good shake, and then get a good amount of the shade onto your palette. You want it enough so that you're not going to run out, but don't go mad, you don't want to be wasting all of your shade. So the shade paint will run into the recesses and make the darker areas a nice dark green colour, but I'm going to put an amount on that will actually cover a lot of the raised areas as well, so it gives us that initial green look to the skin. And don't worry if you're a little bit messy at this stage, we can tidy up the other areas later. If you think you've gone a little bit too heavy in certain areas, there could be a danger uh, that if it pulls heavily, it will leave a white residue once the shade is dried. So make sure you go around the miniature once you've covered all the skin. Go around the miniature just to make sure any heavily pulled areas are dried up and suck it up with your brush a little bit. Just like on the ear here, uh, it's very heavily pulled there, so we're going to suck a little bit back up onto the brush and take a little bit of that pooling away. And once you've covered all the areas of exposed skin with the Bealtan Green Shade, what you want to do is leave it to dry for around 20 minutes to half an hour. With the Bealtan Green Shade now dry, we're going to move on to the Waywatcher Green Glaze. So, again, give your paint a good shake, open it up, and then get a little bit on your palette so you can control how much is on your brush. And start to apply it all over the same areas of the miniature that you applied the Bealtan Green. Applying the Waywatch Green over the Bealtan Green gives you a richer, more a live look to the orc flesh which is perfect as we don't want these guys to look dead just changing the hue slightly each area to which you apply the way watcher green you'll notice as well I've used the medium shade brush to apply both of these paints with us not needing to be too neat, not worrying about needing to be too neat, we can apply both with confidence that we can 
any mistakes we make and any areas that we don't actually want green on the miniature we happen to move on to, uh, we can cover them up later. Having covered all the areas we want to, we can now leave that to dry for another 10 to 15 minutes. So as you can see from the miniature in front of you, uh, we've got a nice rich green skin tone here on this Orc Boy as a result of just using a shade paint and a glaze paint. It's a little rough and ready, but as I said, this is fantastic for painting hordes of miniatures. It gets the colour down that you need. And then you can just go in, pick out the details such as the teeth and the eyes, and then it really makes that skin tone pop. That's all I've got for you today, guys. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the battlefield.